guys, it's Invisible Creepy 3 back here for another Pokemon Muscle Pikachu Nuzlocke. And, um, oh yeah, uh, we are evolved, so just been doing just a little bit, not that much of uh, off screen training, you know. Um, I'm gonna move closer so I don't have to speak really loud. Um, yeah, just a little bit, so we are evolved. Anyway, in our last episode, we beat Mrs. Jim and came here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, this time, yeeting ourselves on the SSN and then beating Lieutenant Surge. So yeah, that's basically gonna be plans for the episode. Get on the SSN, uh, fight some people, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I have the SSN tickets. And also, as you can see, me and Pika are obviously sty styling, like, look, obviously, I'm the Pokemon, as you can see, and he is the trainer, or she is the trainer, obviously, like, we all know that because of our wear, like, of our clothes, but whatever. There's the big SS Anne, not gonna reenact Titanic, because you can watch that in every other Let's Play. Oh, there you are, I see three. <coughs> Hello. Thanks, Dan, for the ticket. This ship is huge and it's full of trainers. Blue. Oh, hi. Bonjour, if it isn't IC3 and Dojabot. Didn't think I'd be seeing the two of you here. Hey, Blue. Are you taking a cruise? <coughs> Not hardly. I got invited to the exclusive party for trainers, but I'm pretty much done with the scene. I've got plenty of party favors, too. Here, I can even share, you, share one with you. Uh, we got whatever that thing does. Don't know what it does, never used it, so cool. More importantly, though, you just want to know what I overheard at the party? You guys know about Team Rocket, right? They're the bad guys. Yep, there are all kind of rumors going around about the things they get up to. Yeah, anyway, the point is, Team Rocket is a dangerous group, and they're trying to use Pokemon to make themselves rich. I might do some digging into what it is they're at really after, and you two better stay out of their path. Well, duh. Also, nice backpack fanny pack. It's like a back, it's a fanny pack, but just on its back. So it's a backpack fanny pack. Buy today. Call 999-999-9999. Oh, hi, Pippa. We have to get to work, Pippa. We have a big episode ahead of us, you know, beating people very badly, like extremely badly, whatever. And I said I'm not going to reenact Titanic, but there's no way I'm not going to because look at Pika. She just wants to play. And at least she doesn't fall off. For my Pika, I will fight. And I get, you know, XP. Wait a minute. Oh boy, there. Do not get seasick on ships. Okay, so. There are Nana Berries. There are two Nana Berries and Pineapple Berry down there. Are they trying to have people eat it? Because if you remember in the beginning, like in episode one, um, Doji Bot tried to eat a berry and Professor Oak told him not. So. Either they taste disgusting or they're poisonous, and everybody in the SSN is trying to poison the um, guests. But obviously, that would never happen. Um, okay, whatever. The thing's the positive me. One hit KO the seal. Next, he's sending out Machop. Yeah. Send out your Machop, boy. You cannot overpower this Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Oh yeah, I also taught Pick a Slam. Uh, oh yeah, Fire Pup. He's level like 17, and the little pupper's already learned Flamethrower. Great, Machamp is getting pumped. Exactly what I needed. Whatever. We made it out literally untouched. The only thing we used was a couple of, well, three moves. Two slams and a zippy zap. Whatever. First battle done, and that was very easy. Okay. Give me the stuff. And I will fight the person right here. Oh, I forgot he, it's not, he's not like facing. Uh, let, let's not do it. How about we just battle, you know, like Pokemon battle? It's like, um, I feel like everybody in the world of Pokemon were real. Everybody else be active. Like everybody in the world would be active and communicating. But that never happened. <laughs> And there goes his polyrag. Also, there would be like supreme rulership because one guy 
would destroy everyone else. Obviously, it would be me. Well, Pika is the trainer, so. Yes, it would be Pika. Okay, time to reenact Titanic. Like, okay, Mom, do you want to see the sneak peek for Titanic 2? Yeah. This is what it actually looks like. Pika, Pika. That's it. <laughs> sneak peek. Oh, this is just a fall off. That was something like a dugong every day fall. Oh, yes, Pika seems really happy. That's why I fought two trainers. And I didn't even have to fight one. I just did it. For levels. And for Pika's sake. And for his Pikachu childhood. For it to be bright and sunny. <laughs> and then, uh, you just like, what about me? I think I deserve it. And... Hey, I see three over here. You have to be here, really. See those stairs there? The captain's quarters are up there. He'll teach you this cool secret technique if you ask him. He's really famous for it. Though he looked pretty done in by seasickness when I saw him. Get off the table, Doge. This pit does not belong to you. Sorry, my dog was on the table. Well, he's finished. Doge! Get that from him, please. We have a malfunction. Uh, I'll be right back. Now that that, that little problem has been solved, <sighs> I take I take a look. So, okay, sometimes they're in the middle of dialogue and it just says no new dialogue. I don't like it. Whatever. We are challenged by Dogebot, and he copied us by Bird Boy. That's nice. Let's zap his big chick, his slightly bigger chicken, out of the sky. Because he deserves it. I mean, he, did do it. he didn't really do anything wrong. It's just I feel like is that thing from the sky. You know. I think we're going to make it out 100% alive. Unless, uh, not when his Oddish comes in. That, no. Well, um, my dude grew level 20. Um, soon, in six levels, he will be a Hypno. Which, that, that'd be nice to have a straight psychic on our team. Uh, we'll just, uh, double kick. I remember that's, for some reason, super effective. Uh, was that a, that wasn't a critical, okay. That wasn't a critical hit. Actually, maybe it was. No, no, it wasn't. That's powerful. That's exactly what Lieutenant Sturgis Jim is, I think, gonna be like, okay, here's his big boy. Well, a big girl, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Whatever, here comes his big Pokemon, Oddish. Uh, I'll just zip zap. I think that might work. I mean, no, it won't work. It'll take it down some. Yeah, okay. Half health. Uh, yeah, because last time, well, not last time, but I remember uh, the first time I was playing the game, I used zip zap because I knew, uh, my pick had known it, had known it. Um, I remember, I had to see a slam. I remember that, um, it wasn't a critical hit and it only did like, a little bit of a quarter health. I remember that. <laughs> All right, I will switch Pokemon. I'm gonna switch into Growlithe, or sorry, Fire Pup, because he, like I said, the little pupper has learned Flamethrower. And one of the smart thing, he won't you if he uses like, yes, Rage Elite. That's exactly what I was expecting. So, um, yeah, that's very useful. All right, let's see how good Fire Pupper is with Flamethrower. Just what I expected. The little pupper is a very strong pupper, actually. And Pika asleep through level 25. I'm not quite sure if that's possible, but whatever. We're moving on now. Wow, I see through you've you've gone pretty strong. Uh oh, uh, nothing. That's cool. Anyway, go meet the captain and have him show you a secret technique. Wow, okay. I will have him show you my, or I will have him show me the secret technique. Or oh, I feel terrible. Oh, the sea sickness has done me in. You rubbed the captain's back. There, there, old fella. <laughs> Whew, thank you. I'm feeling much better. I don't, I, I don't know how that helps, but okay. So what did you want from me? Oh, you want to learn my secret technique? Of course, I'd be happy to teach it. Come along with me. Pika, pika! Haha, that Pikachu looks more than ready to learn my secret technique. But I'm afraid it's really only for humans. Um, no! Shut up, Captain. What's this? You really want to try to learn it no matter what? I don't know how you can survive. 
or how he could not survive, um, how he can understand what Pikachu's saying. Well, come and be surprised. I've traveled all over this wide world, and this is the first time I've had a Pokemon want to learn my secret technique. So is that? But spirit like that, well then, who am I to say now? A bad person, that's who. <laughs> I'll teach my secret, or my special secret techniques even to that Pikachu if you wish. Come with me, little friend. Also, I find it weird how all the captain does is chop the tree down, and all of a sudden, uh, Pokemon knows how to do it. I mean, I'm not complaining, but okay. You can chop down your pick your, your Pikachu will be able to help, will be able to help you chop down through thin trees. You could go give it a try. Uh, that's right. How about on the trees around Vermilion City? Woo! Now I guess it's time for the SS Anne to set sail again. This may be goodbye for now until the next time we return to Vermilion City, which that never happens, by the way. Okay, whatever. Time for the time for Lieutenant Ah Lieutenant Surge's gym. Ten Hut, welcome to the Vermilion City gym. Will you look at that? A pint-sized counter. Shut up, Tid. Tid, kid. Ha ha ha! You've got big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. A Pokemon battle is war. I'll show you, civilian. I don't think it's war. I just think it's a battle. I'll shock you into surrender. Yeah, especially since I have double kick and you don't. <laughs> Get noobed. Okay. Um. So he sent out Voltorb, and I sent out Pika because he's the first, or she's the first one in my slot. Um, she's the first. She's the first one. Oh yeah, I forgot she's still asleep. Um, that was a problem. I forgot she was still asleep. Um, yeah, I forgot because of the rival battle. I was, okay, well, I was like, I was in such a hurry to get to the gym that I forgot that, yeah. Okay, whatever. He uses Thunderbolt. It's neutral against me. I do not understand this man. Whatever. Double kick again should take out his Voltorb. And... Ugh! Okay, Swift. Where? Okay, first of all. A Voltorb is a ball? Okay, first of all. Where even do the stars come from with Swift? Second of all, if he had a... It's a ball. If it comes from the heart, a ball doesn't have a heart. And also, it's a ball. Come on, how, did, how does a ball produce stars? I don't understand. Okay, Magnemite, I'm keeping out pickup because, yes. Fighting move is, yes. Oh, well, I guess I'm using Slam. I mean, it's probably, uh, yeah, I mean, it was pretty powerful. It wasn't the most powerful thing, but it was powerful. Okay, Sonic Boom. Wow. <laughs> okay, so if I can just land another double kick, I think we will be good. Yeah. Okay. Half the time, I feel like it's more powerful when it's not a critical hit than when it is a critical hit. Okay, whatever. Raichu, his last Pokemon. Should I switch? No. I, or I mean, yes, I will switch. I will switch into. Mm, that's a tough decision. Think. Um, Scratcher can do the job. And the only reason I'm sending out Scratcher is so I can get another Pokemon on my slot. I mean, I'm not saying he's useless. I'm just saying, why are Persians not that powerful? I just don't understand that. Okay, Fury Swipes. I taught him that, by the way. Okay. Bye-bye, Scratcher. Oh, you survived. Well, I guess you could survive to do two damage. Oh, well, it hit five times. Oh, no, it just hit four times. Okay. So I actually am going to keep him alive, and I think, oh, nope, 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 nope. I think I'm going to send out, um, I don't want to send back out Pika. I think I'm going to send out Yeeter. Because he has Razor Leaf, and I think Razor Leaf can do the job, okay. Uh, I'm not saying it can instantly do the job. Or I could use Sleep Powder. Yeah, that's what I'll do, I'll use Sleep Powder. Okay, quick attack. Yeah, you can't hurt me. Sleep, yes, sleep powder. Sleep, oh, well, it went first. <laughs> now I take more damage. That's okay. Well, it doesn't quite work when uh, the attack misses or Raichu dodges the attack. <laughs> huh. I find this game interesting. Very interesting.
interesting. I'm not gonna have anybody important die. And I do, ooh, nope, nope, nope. I do remember that, um, well, I don't remember anything. I just, I hope, I hope that, um, my dude can live the Thunderbolt. Um, I hope it should. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, if it doesn't live that, that, that would not be right. Okay, confusion. Quick attack should not, oh, well, it did finish off. Well, crap, I thought this would be successful. Ah, uh, no. Server, come here. Great, I'm sending out Pika, which has the only fighting move and is gonna go last. Oh, I went first, okay. It does that much damage? Oh. Okay, I have been finished off. Now what do I do? The only one with the fighting move has been finished off. Uh, I could send out, yeah, I'm gonna send out Fire Pupper. Cause he knows a strong move that can probably take out this electric type. <laughs> Flamethrower this guy, Fire Pup. You can, come on, Fire Pup, you can live. I believe in you. You failure, Fire Pup. I hate you so much. Now time to send out a Scratcher. Cause he can't do anything, can he? <laughs> That's not like a, a sarcastic, that is a for real. I'm just going to let him faint because I can actually heal up pickup. And like at first this battle, and the reason I'm averting, avoiding using Burb Boy is because Burb Boy is powerful. And when I say he's powerful, I mean he is powerful and electric types are good against flying because it shocked the Burb out of the sky. We saw that. Um, Later or earlier in the episode. So if Pika can go first, which it should, because it went first last time, and also I give it all my speed candies, um, we should be good. Yes. Okay. Half the team has died, but they didn't. So sweet. There's the um, electric badge. I don't remember what it's called. Okay. Whatever. We got the. Um, we beat Lieutenant Surge. Yeah. Sweet. Amazing, give me the badge. Okay, fine, then take a thunder badge. It's called a thunder badge, I'm an idiot. Sweet, Pika, I had to revive you, but whatever. And that's not all, you're special, kid, take this. Sweet, I got his autograph, and I can't do anything with it, so I, I might as well sell it. Dot, 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 dot. Da ha ha, don't worry, that's not all I'm giving you. Thunderbolt, I don't need that. Uh team 38 or 36 contains the electrifying thunderbolt. Don't need it. Teach it to an electric type Pokemon for some extra shock value. Said I don't need it. Zippy Zap's already powerful. Okay, I have to avoid everyone here. Perfect. Okay, so I actually um didn't have to fight any of those trainers. But yeah, that's cool. Um I'm gonna heal up the Pokemon while doing my 60 minute long outro. So the things we did. The arrival at the SSN. Oh, oh, hey, Misty. Oh, it's you again. Oh, wow, so you beat Lieutenant Surge, you must be pretty good. Yeah, that's what I've been telling you. Glad to see you really, you're really learning a thing or two, and your Pokemon must try their best. They have indeed. Oh, sweet, Misty, you want a Pokemon, that's awesome. Oh, me, I'm going swimming in the sea, of course you are. But there are, time, there are times when you just want to break free from a pu puny little pool and swim in the big pool. Okay, you called your gym a a puny little pool on my heading next. Diglett's Cave. Have you been at Diglett's Cave? It's pretty close by. If you haven't, I can show you the way. Want a guide? Yes, please. Great, then let's go. Although it's literally just over there. I don't need a guide, but I'm going to take one. Okay, whatever. We beat Lieutenant Surge, and we beat our rival, rival on the SSN. Uh, next episode, which should be at uh, episode 6, you'll catch our new Pokemon. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and all I have to say is just yeah, thanks for everything you've all done to me, or done not done to me, done for me. Okay, bye.